Hey, tonight we're going to find out if a $15 Cabernet Sauvignon from Washington State really is worth the number 49 slot on Wine Enthusiast's Top 100 Wines. Tonight we're going to talk about Charles Smith's Cabernet Sauvignon 2017 Substance. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Scott, and you've turned into the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel, YouTube's primary channel for discussing Washington State wines and spirits, but not exclusively. Be it's Christmas season, a lot of people are out there right now looking at giving wines. Charles Smith is one of the standard bearers for the state of Washington. Cabernet Sauvignon is one of the most popular grape varietals out there. It's also extremely consistent with its fruits and its tannins. Tonight, this bottle I picked up at Costco for, like I said, less than 15 bucks. I've had it for a couple months now. And we're gonna go ahead and find out if it really is worth, you know, everything that they that they say. Now, wine enthusiast for 2019 did give this. I don't remember what the score was, but like I said, they rated it number 49 on their list of the top 100 wines. Now, I believe there's nothing on here that says it's a blend, but I don't believe they're, they don't have to say that it's not a blend. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color of this. Wow. This is, there's very little light coming through this wine. It is a deep, Garnet almost, well, no, it, it's a just a deep garnet uh, color on this. Let's go ahead and take a look. Not a whole lot of legs. Oh, there's a few. All right. The alcohol on this, by the way, is 14.5%. So let's go ahead and take a nose on this. Oh, right off the bat. I'm getting really rich, deep, dark fruits. There is a tobacco, tobacco note that sits behind the fruit. The fruits, by the way, are a blackberry, a dark blackberry, over, almost overripe blackberry. There's a little bit of dark cherry in this as well. And yeah, there's a, a tobacco note, almost like a sweet pipe tobacco. There's also a spice in there, almost, no, so I was going to say pepper, but I don't, maybe, I don't think it's pepper. Mm, maybe white pepper. If, if it's any sort of spice, it's going to be kind of a white pepper note to it. Let's go ahead and take a sip, shall we? Okay, right off the bat, at 14.5%, I actually do get a little bit of alcohol bite on this. I didn't get that on the nose, but the fruit is right there to, I mean, it's an explosion of dark cherry. The cherries actually come forward more so than the blackberry note. And then it it's very quickly followed off by a mineralization. Um, it's a very earthy type of mineralization. Uh, think of a kind of, I get kind of a wet slate type of note to it, but it then transitioned into something. I think that leather note that I was smelling has kind of morphed into a more of an earthy, almost mushroom truffle maybe. No, truffle would be too strong. More of a of a light mushroom note, and it could be that I had mushrooms earlier this evening for dinner, but no, it's, it's relatively strong on the palate. Um, the fruit notes are very well balanced compared to the tannins. Uh, there's a slight drying, uh, briefly, but then it goes to a very juicy note. Let's go ahead and have another sip. Let's try this again.
Yeah, it's definitely a a mushroom note on that. Now the downside to this wine, um, that fruit flavor does linger. So the finish technically is a little bit longer than normal, but it's relative to me. It is relatively overpowering to the rest of the notes. So there's not not a whole lot of harmony. Um, I'm thinking that might change if I had decanted this. Um, but I mean, normally people are not going to decant a $15 wine. Um, I can see where wine enthusiast might go ahead, you know, get, gave it the rating that it did. I mean, it is a good solid wine. It's not something that I would normally purchase. Um, I do like Cabernet Sauvignons, but I like my Cabernet Sauvignons with a little bit more tannin structure than, than, than a fruit explosion. This is really a, a fruit bomb, a dark fruit bomb. But for what it is, it really does represent Cabernet Sauvignons extremely well. So does it deserve its spot on the, on the wine enthusiast list? Yeah. You got to remember those wine enthusiast lists, those, all those types of wine lists, they not only look at the flavor, the taste, you know, the, the whole nine yards, but they look at availability because they want something that you should be able to relatively be able to find. I, I know that Charles Smith produces a ton of wine. And there's a good chance if you find this out in the market, you could probably find it in most most retail locations or, or good well-stocked wine locations. So what am I personally going to give it? This is a 90 plus wine. Uh, this is, uh, actually I would probably say 90 or 91 on this. Um, like I said, I, I like my Cabernet Sauvignons with a little bit more structure, uh, a little bit more tannin, and you know the acidity on it, very to me, there's not a whole lot of acidity. Uh, acidity, I can't really, I don't get a, kind of that uh, uh, that note in that. So, anyways, like I said, it's still a very good Cabernet Sauvignon for especially for fifteen dollars. Is it recommend? Yeah, you're not going to go wrong serving this for Christmas Eve or Christmas party or actually any party. Even if you wanted to just go ahead and have a nice night, uh, nice wine for the evening. So that being said. You know, let me know, have you guys had the Charles Smith's Cabernet Sauvignon 2017 substance? What do you think about it? Is it something that you would serve? Let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of the comments, if you think I'm off on my tasting notes, let me know that as well. In the meantime, if you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. It helps with the algorithms. And then after you subscribe, the little bell icon is going to pop up right next to you right next to the subscribe button, not next to you, and go ahead and hit that. That way when I do upload these videos, you know what? I'll be able to go ahead and basically the system will notify you saying, hey, Scott's got another video out. Maybe wines, maybe spirits. Let me know, the, like you said, let me know. Anyways, 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon, 90, 91, good solid ones. Anyways, as always, please, please drink responsibly. It is the holiday season. Everybody's in... Uh, indulging in a little bit more spirits. And as always, please, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. This is a very solid Cabernet Sauvignon. Cheers. Now it's time to go share the bottle with the wife.